Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Easy Theory. So today we're going to continue from our lecture series. So last time we were talking about the conversion from an NFA to a DFA. And what we saw there was we were modeling the DFA to be sets of states in the NFA, and then we just related different sets to each other. But we're going to actually do a real live example right here, because the example that we did before didn't have any epsilon transitions, and this one does. So here's how we will start here. Maybe I'll do purple. So here's the DFA. So the procedure here is to, the very first thing is to find what is the start state. Well, that's Q0, obviously. And now we need to find the epsilon closure of the start state, which means from the start state, itself can we go anywhere else on the epsilon on epsilon transitions only and we can't because there's only one transition coming out of it and it's only a so the epsilon closure of the start state is just itself so i'm going to make a state right here which is going to be the set which contains q0 and because the epsilon closure of this set this singleton set right here is just itself because we can't go anywhere else on the epsilon uh, transition. Okay, well, now we gotta figure out where this state right here goes on each of the inputs, which is A and B. And, and by the way, I have not done this example. This is completely live. Okay, so here we gotta figure out where we need to go on input A and on input B. Well, the B one is easy to do because Q0 well, actually, all the states listed in this set right here don't go anywhere on input B at all because Q0 doesn't go anywhere on B at all. So we can actually do the B transition really easily. How do we do it? Well, if you can't go anywhere, well, the set of states that you can go to is empty. There's no state you can go to. So the name of the state that you can go to is, I'm going to call empty set, which represents you can't go to any of the possible states. And it's not too hard to see that if you're in this situation where you're no states in whatsoever, and you read an A, you can't go to a state, you can only stay right here because you're not in any state whatsoever to start with. Okay, now we just need to figure out where to go on A. Well, this one is kind of easy because, well, <laughs> there's only one transition. It goes to Q1 right here. And now we got to be careful because Q1, we got to think about the epsilon closure of Q1. Well, Q1 doesn't go anywhere on, input, on, the, on epsilon transitions. So the epsilon closure will tell us that this is just Q1 only. Okay, now we need to figure out where to go on input A and B. Well, Q1, we can easily see, has no transitions on input A. So just like before, the A transition will come back here. And then now the interesting part, of course, is the B transition. So let's see. Well, the B transition says, OK. Well, the B says, come down to here, Q2. But then Q2 could be could go to Q3 because there's an epsilon transition there. So the epsilon closure of just Q2 is Q2 and Q3. So the state we're going to go to here is Q2, Q3. Okay, now we need to figure out where to go on input A and B, just like before. So now we've got to observe Q2 and Q3 and figure out all the possibilities that could happen. Well, Q2 well, let's handle the B transition because that's easy. Q2 goes nowhere on B. Q3 goes nowhere on B. So, in fact, we can have the B transitions come to that. Uh, it's called the dead state in, in terminology literature. Um, yeah, so it goes to the dead state here. Now on input A, where do we go? Well, on input A, Q2 goes to uh, Q0. So write down Q0 here. Q3 goes to Q4. So I'm going to have Q4 listed here. And in fact, well, we got to make sure of the epsilon closure. Well, Q0 goes, has no epsilon transitions. Q4 has no epsilon transitions. 
So the epsilon closure of these two states is themselves, because they don't go anywhere else. Okay, well on input B, well, we're going to come back here before, just like before. Q0 goes nowhere, Q4 goes nowhere. So we're going to come back here on input B. And on input A, well, both of them come to Q1, and we're back in the same situation as before. So now, in fact, we have finished off this DFA. Well, now all that we need to do is figure out which states are final. Well, the only, the only states that should be final are the ones that have Q4 in them, because none of the other states are final. So the only state that is final in this case is going to be this one. Okay? So now let's actually do a um, little bit more complicated example. So I'm going to copy and paste this NFA right here. And I'm going to slightly modify it to be a little bit more complicated. So here I'm going to change this to a, uh, actually I'll stay white, so, so B here, and then maybe we'll have an epsilon transition here to Q, uh, what's the next number, 5, and then an A here, and then an A here. And then let's say that this one has a self loop on B. Okay, so I just made this uh, NFA up. I don't know how big the DFA will be, but let's just try to do this as best as we can. I'm gonna make this a little smaller so I have some more room. The wonders of notability. Oops, it interfered with the other picture. Okay, so now let's make the NFA, the DFA out of this. Well. Now the epsilon closure of the start state is not just the start state, it goes down to Q5 also, but Q5 doesn't go anywhere else on epsilon transitions. So the start state of the DFA now will be Q0, Q5. And then now we on A and B we gotta figure out where to go. Well, on input B, Q0 again goes nowhere. Q5 also goes nowhere on B. So again, we're gonna to go to that dead state, just like before. So that's no different. Well then now on A, now it gets a little bit more interesting. So on input A, well Q0 goes to Q1, so I'm gonna write that, I'm gonna write that uh, state down. But Q5 can go to Q2 and go to Q3 as well. And notice that Q2, is already handled, uh, I mean Q3 is already handled because Q2 has an epsilon transition to Q3 so we don't need to worry about the epsilon transition in this case. So here we can go to Q2 and Q3. Oh wait, did I do that right? Yeah, I did that right. I, I, I thought I missed this A transition here. Okay, so we can go to Q2 and Q3. So that's the set of states I can go to. Now let's see, well, where can we go on input B uh, from this state? Well, the only one that'll matter is the Q1 state because uh, that goes down to, uh, that goes on B, but Q2 doesn't have anything on B whatsoever. So when Q1 goes on B, it comes down to Q2, but it has this epsilon transition here, so we gotta take that into account. So then the state, that this thing goes to on input B is Q2, Q3, because two and three don't go on B. The only one that matters is Q1 on B, which goes to Q2, but we gotta take Q3 into account because of epsilon transition. So B will take us to Q2, Q3. Okay, so then where do we go on input A now? Well, Q1 doesn't go anywhere on A, so we don't need to worry about that. Q2 goes to Q0 on A, so let's write that state down. Let's, let's see, Q3 goes to Q4 on A, and well now we have, those are the two states we can directly go to, but Q0 has this epsilon transition which goes down to Q5, so we gotta take that into account as well. And there are no other states that we can get to via epsilon transitions. So now it's starting to get a little, little bit more complicated. The two and three uh, state on input B is also easy because that's unchanged from before. 
on input A, where does this go to? It goes to uh, 0, 4, and 5 because of this epsilon transition here. So this comes down to here on A, which closes off this path just like before. So that's pretty nice. Uh, what about on, on A over here? So on um, input, well, Q0 and Q5 right here go to 1, 2, and 3 on A. So I'm going to write those down. Uh, what about uh, Q4 on A? Well, Q4 doesn't go anywhere on A. So in fact, this state that we really are writing here is the one we've already made, which is right here. Pretty cool. So what about on B? Well, Q0 goes nowhere on B, Q5 goes nowhere on B, so the only one that matters is Q4, which is Q1 and Q4. And there's no other states we can go to via epsilon transitions in this case. Okay, so let's see. This might get a little bit more complicated, so I'm going to copy and paste this big boy down here. Paste. Okay, so Q1 and Q4, where can we go on input, let's say, A? So Q4 goes nowhere on A, so the only one, and Q1 goes nowhere on A. Yeah, that's right. So that means that we come up here and, do, and go to the dead state. That's kind of nice. And then what about on B? Well, Q1 and goes to... Uh, Q4 goes to itself in Q1, so I'm writing Q1 and Q4 again. But Q1 goes to Q2, which can go over to Q3, so now it's going to get more complicated. Q2, Q3, Q4. Oops. Should redo that. Make it look nicer. Okay, so now we got a bunch of states. <laughs> so let's let's do input A now. So input A. Q1 goes nowhere, 2 goes to 0, so write that down, Q3 goes to Q4, so write that down, and we get Q5 out of it, uh, Q4 goes nowhere, so this is the three states we can go to because of epsilon closure, and we've already made that state before. So I'm going to come over to this state, because we've already made it. And then on input B, where can we go? So Q1 goes to Q2, which itself goes to Q3. Q2 goes nowhere on B. Q3 goes nowhere on B. Q4 goes to itself in Q1. And we can't go anywhere else on epsilon closure, so these are the four states, and we've already made that state. So that, we, in fact, we can actually close this off. We didn't even need more room, which is kind of cool. And of course, in order to do, um, in order to finish this off, we need to find what the final states are. Well, the final states, again, is just Q4, so anything with Q4 in it. So always remember, empty set doesn't have anything in it, so it should never be final. This doesn't have Q4, doesn't have Q4. This one does have Q4. This one does not have Q4, and the other two do have Q4. Okay, so... Even with a slight modification, we should be able to appreciate the fact that the DFA is considerably larger than the other one that we had before. So I hope that was interesting. Leave a comment below if you have a more interesting NFA that you converted to a DFA. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. There are plenty of other links in the description to support the channel, such as Patreon and our Discord server. And as always, I'll see you next time.